Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, shocking news. Basim Yusuf's X account has been removed. Social media is going crazy, but especially Muslim social media is posting. Basim Yusuf cancelled. Elon Musk permanently removed Basim Yusuf from X. Basim Yusuf X account deactivated following post about Israel-Gaza war. And of course, the Jerusalem Post jumped onto the topic as well and proclaims Basim Yusuf's X account banned or deactivated after anti-Semitism rants. So as you can see in this days and age clickbaity nature of social media, everybody was quick to jump onto the topic and get their reward, get their clicks, of course. But what is the truth behind this supposed deactivation? In today's video, we're going to check that out, guys. But before we jump into it, as always, leave me a thumbs up if you enjoy my content. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out the links in the description box to further support. And now, with no further ado, let's have a look. All right, and now we're here on Bassem's Instagram page. It's really embarrassing, actually, that I have to do this work. <laughs> because all you have to do is click on this link here, and then you see his official website, and you see his YouTube channel, and of course, the Instagram page that we are already on. So before you start spewing nonsense, why not go onto this active Instagram page and check out what he has to say. So here he posts, I'm not sure if or when my Twitter account will be back. I am here on Instagram and Facebook and any other account posing as me on Twitter is fake. I don't wish to make any media statements or interviews about that now. Thank you. In the comment section you can see who uses Twitter anymore. Time to boycott. Elon the Zionist. Free speech, huh Elon? You don't need Elon, we hear you loud and clear, etc, etc, you name it. But all he said here, Basim, is that he right now doesn't know when the account will be back. He didn't say how it disappeared in the first place. He didn't say that Elon Musk personally deactivated it. Because if we click on this post here, which was posted 11 hours ago, we can clearly read... First, no, my X account wasn't taken down by X and I don't wish to falsely victimize myself using this. Number two, when safety issues concerning my loved ones are alleviated, I might consider coming back. Number three, I wish to deal with this away from media. Number four, I will still be posting my content on TikTok, Insta and Facebook. So even here, the low IQ rants keep on going. Boycott Elon, <laughs> even though he clearly said that X didn't take his account down. It is something entirely different and he doesn't want to speak about it. So let's respect it. Anyways, on a more lighthearted note, it's of course hilarious that Israel itself on X posted by like a total bitter bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely hilarious to see this feminine, passive, aggressive energy coming from Israel. But speaking about Israel, let's get back to the Jerusalem Post. Yet again, the headline read, Basim Yusuf's X account banned or deactivated, who knows, after anti-Semitism rants. Are you still scared to be called an anti-Semite by those Zionists? Yusuf wrote on Monday. And just to produce headlines, they of course assume that this must have been the reason, as if Basem never said anything like that previously to this. He was posting on X, he was posting on Instagram, he was on the Piers Morgan show and what not. Nothing about his content changed in the past few weeks. But they of course love to play the victim card. It continues, Egyptian comedian and Israel critic Basim Yusuf's X account was suspended or deactivated following a series of controversial remarks about Jews. Yusuf's last post on the social media platform alleged that anti-Semitism was being used as a fear tactic, which it is, that was no longer effective which it isn't. Yusuf attempted to rile up Israel supporters with online commentary. Yusuf said in response to the viral clips that he wished to clarify his point. If you are chosen to spread the word of God or chosen to do good things to other people, that is wonderful. But Israel Jews were using this divine status to take other people's lands and kill them. 
which is simply accurate and factual. And thank God the world is waking up to this. Anyways, we're going to cut it off here. What is the morale of the story? The morale of the story is to my fellow social media peers here to not simply jump onto a story without having any knowledge. Within Islam, it is of course a grave sin to speak without knowledge about our own religion and now project that onto anything in the world. Why would you open your mouth and speak about something that you have no clue about? Just gossiping ultimately and making things up. Why not simply go and do a little bit of research yourself and check out his social media profiles aside from X and hear it from the man himself? But no, social media influencers nowadays, unfortunately within the Muslim social media space as well, have become the desperate housewives. They're simply gossiping, making things up. They don't even care that they're going to spew some nonsense because in this social media space, it is very, very short-lived. And therefore, tomorrow, they're going to produce some other content again and everybody's going to forget about it. But you should have a little bit more self-respect. Don't you have any shame? Are you not ashamed of yourself? Are you not worth more than producing such mediocre content for clicks and earn a quick buck? This is absolutely repulsive and I hope this is a wake-up call for the social media influencers out there. All right, guys, but this is it for today's clarification video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out the links in the description box below to further support my work. Thank you very much for that. And as always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace. <laughs> Oh